Hello everybody, welcome back to Valhelzia 3 with your pal Super Turtle. Guys, last episode we went ahead and made this room. I've done a little bit of work off camera, made the roof look pretty nice, made this look pretty nice, put the walls in, and I kind of like it. I actually really do like the color combination between the polished basalt and the treated wood. I think it looks really, really spicy. I might end up just knocking out all the, the warped wood there. And putting all that in. But anyways, guys, we set this power system up last episode. And I think it's time that we go ahead and start using it with mechanism, which is going to be pretty, pretty neat. Uh, let's see here. As you can see, I got some stuff in my inventory. We're going to need to get into some mechanism stuff today, guys, because we want to go ahead and get the precision or basic sawmill. That This is a precision sawmill. So to go ahead and get this, we're just going to need to get these basic plates here with some redstone. And I've got this made up here. We just need one ingot of osmium, which is very easy to get when you've already got it. Where did you go? Where did you come from? Not my Joe. There you are. Perfect. So if we go like that, uh, what do we need? What do we need? We need some iron. Got a little bit, a wee little bit of iron. All right. Check it, check it, check it out. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of place this here for... No, we're not going to place it here. We are going to place it here. It's going to be kind of sticking out because what I want to go ahead and do is put a wire thing here. Um, Maybe we put that here instead because we need to connect it here so it splits off. Oh, yeah, look at that. Birds on a wire. That's pretty neat. So we, do, I want to have more than one thing connected to this power source here. How, what kind of power are we putting out? Uh... We gotta configure it properly. Back is energy. What? No power? No fee? Fee, fi, fo, fum. I have a big thumb. Um. Come here, please work. So apparently that doesn't produce a whole lot of power. Okay, so we might need to go ahead and do something else here. Okay, so I found a generator from Mechanism here that's supposed to generate basically like the furnace power. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot here. We should have everything we need for it, except the wood. Ah, uh, yeah, we can just use these two woods. And boom, we have our heat generator here. So let's go ahead and see the farty is parted. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to place it like this, maybe. Nope, not like that. Like this, maybe, because that's probably the power tap. Yeah. So, uh, it says if we hit shift and then the N, uh, a generator that uses the heat of lava or other burnable resources to produce energy. So this should give us exactly what we're looking for here. So if I put this in, creates lava and more power baby wow that went through the cold coke quick wow okay i got three more here <laughs> so close Does it make a difference if it's coal coke or not? Let's see. I have five here. I'm not sure. Okay, we got our fused infused alloy. Woohoo. Okay, so we made that already, right. So this is, oh, that's osmium. Shoot. Okay. Uh, we do have a bit of coal over here that we can turn into some uh, some more power, baby. So osmium here. Okay, so like a, a, a fluid pump is might be a decent solution for our, our issues. Do we have that? Maybe, we'll check later. But wind generator, solar panels, stuff like that. This is gonna be stuff that we wanna make early. Okay, so we got one. That was all the coal pretty much we had. Okay, we got 11 more coal, man, this is this is not fun at all. Okay, so we got the two things that we need here. Let's go ahead and make this sawmill. All right, so what do we need here? So obviously we need a bunch more, I guess, redstone in our inventory. What do we need? 
What do we need for this guy? A precision sawmill. Oh, so we do need two more, actually, believe it or not. Uh, we need some more iron as well. And we need to swap this out. Come on, we just need one. No. Good lord. Okay, this is a terrible source of power generation. Guys, do not use this. Yes, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, what am I, what am I missing? The iron and the steel casing, okay. Okay, that's doable. Okay. Just need the steel now. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay, get this guy connected in. And using 5 EU. Yeah, okay, so this we just need to put some wood in here. Get some sawdust in, which is pretty neat. All right, let's see how real lava does. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so the sawmill is definitely getting charged up here, which is good to see. Uh, we can go ahead and just grab some some leftover planks. I don't know if we can do slabs, but we're going to go ahead and heck and try. We just need enough to get some uh, cardboard box. Actually, nope. Pretty loud, sorry. Wait, what? Ah! No! It, oh no. Oh no, it's magic. You know. Never believe you're an Eskimo. That's how the song goes, right? Yeah, everyone, everyone around, you know that's how the song goes. Let's go ahead and chop up some wood right here. Um, yeah, let's let's see if this, because uh, it looks like I messed up. We used a bit of power that we shouldn't have. Ugh. So anyway, we definitely need to work on a power source, because uh, as you can see, this is depleting quite quickly. Sticks, wood, wood, help. No, we didn't get any. We did get six from that one thing. Pretty dope. Okay, so we got one more generator that I'm going to go ahead and try while I have you guys here. Uh, let's see. We're going to make this call. It's called a pitiful generator. I don't know how much power it actually produces, so we're just going to kind of throw it next to this guy here. Toss it in. That was from a single piece of wood. Wow, okay, that is clearly much better. We're using the wood that we're getting to make more wood. <laughs> that feels kind of cheaty, but I like it. Okay, so, let's see, is there any way to improve these odds? Or is there like, okay, so let's see. Uh, oh, you, oh, from a stick, it's one to one. From a stick, dudes, it's one to, why am I so dumb? Look at that. How amazing, how, well, okay. How amazing is that? Look what we found, it's even, oh my gosh. How cheaty is that? We could automate this with a tree farm. Two, count them two, sawdust. Three, count them three, sawdust.
Okay, so we got the four sawdust we need, guys. And if you guys have been paying attention to that F over there, that's where we're going. Okay, so let's go ahead and sleep, and then we're going to make our way over there. Okay, so we're over here at the F. This is our underwater thing here. Now, I did find this a few episodes, or a few, before a few episodes ago, uh, and I didn't want to go down here because I was afraid of that. There's a spawner there that I want to go ahead and see if we can snag. Uh, now, it is kind of glitched out the water, so we are going to fall in. Uh, I didn't bring any torches. I feel them. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is click it. Yes, it works. Oh, my gosh. We got our own spawner, guys. Oh, and look at this. Man of Steel. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize this was all in here. I only brought one of those guys. Oh, man. We, oh, my goodness. We got more Man of Steel. Oh, man. Look at all this string. Look at all this. We're moving up in the world. Moving up in the... Oh, shoot. Ow. Oh, hey. Hup, hup. Hup. Okay, now to get out, this is my plan. I've thought this through. Yes. Look at that, guys. We escaped with our own spawner. Yay. All right, guys. So this is a pretty good spot for where we're going to be building our mob farm today. I was actually not expecting on building a mob farm, but we went ahead and got all the stuff that we needed to make it, so I'm pretty happy. So if you guys have seen any of my other series, you will know, real, well, I guess you'll recognize this farm. Uh, so what we're gonna go ahead and do here is this is gonna be where we kinda catch the mobs. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this here. So this is where we're gonna hack and slash them. They're just gonna be skeletons, so nothing to worry about, really. We're gonna fill this in here, and yeah. So there are things in this mod pack called traps. Um, I actually call it trap. Uh, if we look here, this is a player damage trap. We need to go ahead and get a diamond sword and kill a phantom. Uh, and the cool thing is, uh, let's, well, let's look here. It says damages mobs that touch it with player damage. Mobs killed will drop EXP and loot can be disabled with a redstone signal. Can be waterlogged. Mobs can spawn on it, spawn on and in it. So what we actually could do if we wanted to is, um, put these all on the, the, the floor that we're going to be making, but I'm not going to go ahead and do that because I don't have the resources to do that. So we're going to go ahead here, and we're just going to build our platform pretty low, honestly. This is where it's going to be. We're going to put the mob farm out this way, so we need to, um, like this will be the end that all the water is going to get pushed into. Uh, so we need this to be eight blocks this way. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is how far or how big this room is going to be. Very cool. And then over here, see, one, two, three, four. We're going to go ahead and kind of cheat the system just a little bit when it comes to this one. I'm not going to have it nearly as, as big. So we just go about here. All right, so we might have to end up just putting signs here to kind of help us out. I was trying to do something cool with the water so we wouldn't need signs, uh, but I think it would be better just to do that. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I don't know how that happened. Let's go ahead and fix that real quick. All right, so these spawners are going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four. So spawners are going to be here. And here, so let's go ahead and just put these up like so. We'll be making them quite a bit higher up, but I want to go ahead and get the water stream started here. So they're going to be kind of pushed over. Just going to be pretty much a basic vanilla spawner that we make above ground. Uh, so yeah, we go like this. And... You know what? We should be able to actually just do this. This makes it easier on the skeletons and on us to go ahead and build it. Unfortunately, we will need to upgrade this once we throw the blazes in here. And yes, we will be putting a blaze spawner in here eventually. We'll have to switch over to the conveyor belts. Uh, so then we just put the water in there and we'll be ready to rock after that. Okay, so we got the signs already set up here. So as you can see, it does kind of push them over and in, and booyah. So let's have a look here. So we need to go up. So this is where the skeleton's heads will, ah, 
So we need to go up from eight from here, so. Alright, we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is where the spawner will be. That should easily be close enough to us. Ah, I could make it. Now the only thing left to do is to make the sidewalls go all the way up there. So I will go ahead and just do this all the way around, then we'll cap it off, and we will undo the box and start getting some maybe more spawners eventually. But let's uh, let's go ahead and finish this up. All right, so we're up here now. Let's go ahead. Whoops, that's not right. Let's go ahead and cap this off so we can go ahead and get these skeletons to spawn. Now, we can also go ahead and throw zombies in here. Uh, let's see, what other spawners can we find? Uh, spiders as well, because they actually know not spiders. They will clog up the system because that's only a two wide. Uh, so if we go here. Yep, there we go. That should be twerking. Oh, it looks like a zombie spawner for some reason. I'm not sure why it changed to that. A uh, zombie spawner would actually be good because then we can get some leather for our um, our enchanting table. So I actually don't mind that it changed to a, a, a zombie one. But now that that's closed, it should be able to start spawning some guys in. And I don't have a good way down. Um, the best pet obviously is going to be just falling onto this thing. Ouch. Yep, zombies are definitely going in. I'm pretty sure that was a skeleton one that I did. But I'm not going to complain. Alright, he seemed to get moved down here. Alright, cool. All right, guys, so the spawner here is definitely working. Killing these guys up. Yeah, check that out. We are getting a heck ton of rotten flesh here. Now, all I need to do is just drop those two player kills here, and then I can just go AFK, and it will give me experience, and it will give me items, which will be very cool. Let me go ahead and build this up real quick. I did have to go ahead and lower it a couple of blocks so that it would start to spawn again. Uh, it will in improve with more spawners in there, so uh, I just need to kind of run back and forth a bit, getting some more spawners. But other than that, guys, it's uh, it's rocking and rolling, dude. It's rocking and rolling, dudes and dudettes. Isn't that amazing? Now we do need to go ahead and light this place up for sure. And I also need to find a way to fix the baby zombie issue. Because they could be an issue. Okay, so in here we can still get sniped by skeletons. We're going to go ahead, just put a door here, and eventually we'll come back and get some light in here. We're going to go ahead and kill these guys. Very cool. Imagine with looting on, we can we can be rocking and rolling in no time. Man, that's ugly. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and light up the inside. <laughs> ah, this is not a very beautiful build whatsoever. Uh, and I didn't intend for it to be, but I looked at it some more and I'm like, oh, good lord, dudes. Uh, this is, this is bad. But uh, yeah, so I do got some torches here so we can go ahead and light this thing up from inside. So go ahead and put the, the lights here. Eventually we will go ahead and uh, like put some chests and stuff like that in here, like a hopper stuff. But I'm going to go AFK here for a bit and see how many zombies we can go ahead and collect here. And then we can slice them up. Oh, I should probably get a door too. Just a few zombies. Holy crap. Sorry, I didn't mean to max it up. Just a few zombies here. Holy heck. All right, so check that out, guys. We have gone ahead and made the zombie farm. Went ahead in here, slabbed everything up, put the crafting table here so nothing can really spawn in on us. Uh, maybe we can get some fan. Oh, jeez, Louise. He did scare me. Whoo. Whoo. Okay. Feeling good. Uh, Mr. Phantom, can you spawn in? That looks really, really kind of cool, honestly. Look at that. Look at that. All right. See if I can get Phantom Spawn. Hello, Phantoms. Non sleepy boy here. Go ahead. Get me good. Creeper. Come on, Phantoms. I'm a non sleepy boy. Oh, man becoming daytime. I'm going to have to go ahead and go AFK again. Alright guys, so if you guys didn't know, one of the abilities of rotten flesh in this pack is to make rotten leather. If you look at how this is made, it's just five rotten flesh combined together and I have quite a bit of the stuff getting smelted up right now. So we should be able to go ahead and make ourselves a full enchanting setup. As you can see, I am level 40. I don't mess around, if you know what I mean. So let's go get some paper. All right, so with all this sugar cane, now we can go ahead and make all the paper we need. It's so good. All right, so let's go ahead and make all of these books. All right, all the books we can make, bam. Now we can make ourselves some bookshelves. Bam, just like that. Oh, we made a couple extra. Oh, well, the more the merrier. You know what I mean? All right, so let's go ahead here. All right, we can go ahead and do some level 30 enchants. I am super duper excited about that. Now we should have a grindstone in here somewhere. I wanna go ahead and remove the enchants from these tools, because these enchants are pretty garbage. You guys are probably yelling at me. Oh my gosh, you missed it. No, just kidding. You're not yelling at me. Because <laughs> I didn't miss it because I'm not an idiot. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so let's place this bad boy here. We're going to go ahead. Two, three, four. All right, we should have got some levels back from that. Not very many because, you know, they were just level one a chance. Hey, look at that pig. Or pig man. I think that's what they're called. I forgot. They, they had a name change. Okay, don't, don't, don't at me. Ah, don't you dare. You're gonna die. Sorry, who are you? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do some enchanting here. What can we get on our sword? Indestructible and sharpness four. I will take that. All right, here we go. Efficiency four. Oh, we should have put that on a pickaxe. Oh, silk touch. Indestructible. What is this? Oh my gosh, we got Silk Touch on a pickaxe? That's what I'm talking about. What? That's amazing, guys. Holy heck. Look at this. Sharpness 4 and indestructible. I can just go and slice peoples. Just slice them. And so we're going to go ahead and, and like combine a whole bunch of swords onto this one. Oh, man, this is going to be great. Let's test it out on our stupid zombies. 
All right, let's see how it does. It doesn't have any sweeping edge on it, so it's okay. It's definitely killing them faster, so I'm excited about that. Very cool. Uh, we do need to wait out here so I can go ahead and kill a phantom so I can just AFK here at this farm and collect all the goodies. But guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. I know it was a kind of a crazy one. We did a lot. We built our mob farm over there. It looks real ugly. We'll go ahead and pretty that up. I think we're going to go ahead and try to do... Uh, just because of the mods that are in here, we're just going to try to do like a uh, like a kingdom build. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, we'll see what happens. It might, it might change in the future. What is that? Oh, man, that's cool looking. I guess we got to do that now. But anyways, guys, with the sun setting, I hope you all had a fantastic day. I picked up this cool helmet from someone. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It goes around right top of my head. It kind of looks like netherite, but it's not. It's a uh, refined obsidian helmet. Pretty neat, huh? But anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Make sure you have a good one. And don't forget to uh, put deodorant on because you kind of get stinky if you don't. So anyway, guys, see ya. Bye.